Hey guys, what's up? So, Rev here. You got this is this is definitely the type of thing that I would do on my channel back in the day when I was paying attention to this stuff because this is like one of those moments in history that's like you might perceive it as a pebble in the water, but it's actually going to create a tidal wave if it keeps going the way that it looks it could go, okay? In World War II, because we were involved with a conflict with Japan, Japan was on the access side of the powers in World War II, America decided it was a good idea to start interning uh, Japanese Americans in internment camps because they could be agents of the Japanese government. Well, we now have what it looks like could be a conflict coming in the very near future with China on multiple front fronts, not just military, but financial and currency wars, okay? It looks like we're going to be going into some kind of conflict with them in Russia in the near future, okay? So the question is, when we see a story like this, and I think we should probably play the clip and get, so that you know what's going on, okay? Um, if we see something like this, it's a canary in the coal mine type of thing. You just had a canary die in the coal mine. Okay, do we have noxious gases that are going to end up killing the guys? Okay, that's the question. Because a lot of people don't even get canary in the coal mine anymore. They don't know what it means anymore, right? Yeah, he's good. We're old. We're older. <laughs> we are. <laughs> so, and I live in a mining town. So, we need to see if this could happen again. Because, look, we need to stop it. If, it, if it's going to happen, and we're going to put J Chinese Americans... And there's a, a, I don't know, I'm not aware of who this Chinese congresswoman is. I, I just ask for your grace there because I really haven't paid attention to, to the Congress as much as I used to. So if we see something like this, if we call it out right now and we stop it right now, because it's the GOP, of course, the, which is my party, and it's pathetic, okay? That, that they, if you guys aren't racist, look, you're really looking it. So why don't we check the clip out and show folks what's happening. Okay. I think we should do that. Since it opened its doors in Los Angeles in 1973, East West Bank has served as a critical institution for Chinese Americans often overlooked by other banks. For 50 years, the focus of its business has been to build financial and cultural bridges between the U.S., immigrant communities, and Asia. So it's not out of the ordinary, then, that last July, President Biden appointed the man who has been East West Bank's CEO for 30 years, Dominic Ng, to chair Biden's Asia-focused business advisory council. But last week, a group of House Republicans decided to take it upon themselves to write a letter to the FBI demanding that Mr. Ng be investigated for potentially violating the Espionage Act. Oh, Their my God. Their allegation is that this prominent Chinese-American business... And it's because he's Chinese. Yeah. That's the only reason. It's because his ethnicity is Chinese. Absolutely. And, and now you're understanding why you had the Trump movement, the Trumpers, which I... Look, I supported Donald Trump. Back in 2016, 17, 18, yeah, I supported him, definitely, okay? But the wider Trumper QAnon movement, I was never a part of. I was never a QAnon or ever. I was outside that stuff, and so was that got that big truther guy. He was the same way, but anyway, all that stuff don't matter. The point is, you understand why you had Trump with this rhetoric, Jaina, Jaina, like mispronouncing it deliberately, and, and talking like ping pong, wong, wong, he did that quite a bit. Yes, he did. Okay, now you know why he was doing that. It was to get us ready to be hating Chinese because we're getting into a war. Mm-hmm. It's all New World Order. It really is. It is. It was to get you to hate a certain ethnic group because we're going to be shooting them. Okay? That's what it's, this it's is. It's gross. What you're seeing right now is the re-merging of the Nazi party. I mean... Well, we could say well, Nazi, today, but... today, today they have called it the National Day of Hate, yeah. the Nazi Party, and they have all of the Jewish communities on 
you know, I guess stand down. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess stand down. Cause why we, well, we saw our local news, NRJCC, is yeah. like lockdown. Yeah. They, they're ready for some. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful hearts. Yes. Thank you, Stacy. And I'm just flabbergasted that our, our, we're not learning from what we did to the Japanese, to the Germans. Okay, but could we back in World War Two? Yeah. Um, it's very xenophobic what they're doing right now, and it's it's racist. Right, I agree, but I think we should make the point here because, like, for me as the the Revelation News guy, I yeah. I want to look at the bigger, wider picture. Yeah, this looks like that it's a certain that you mentioned Nazis. Okay, it's the rise of the Nazis, Channing. It's the rise of the Luciferians. Yeah. Okay, like they're coming out in they have to right now. Yeah. Because they want the global government. They want that now. I, I don't want to go into conspiracy theory. They want it, man. Yeah, they, but like, but I, 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 I don't. That's not the point. That's the, 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 the point is we're 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 going to see yeah racial profiling of Chinese people yeah which will rise hate in the people who are addicted to hate for Chinese people and you'll probably see. People just attacking Chinese people and Jewish people now. So yeah, like this is yeah, it's divide and conquer at the end of the day. Yes, that's exactly what it is. But oh, uh, all right, let's go yeah, more right. into this. Yeah, absolutely. this bank is all about connecting the East and the West. Was secretly connected to China. Specifically, they allege that Ng served in leadership roles in two groups that were allegedly fronts for Chinese intelligence. Democratic Congresswoman Judy Chu and several other members of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus responded by publishing their own statement, defending Mr. Ng and the extensive vetting he went through before that appointment. Now, I want you to hear how Republican Lance Gooden of Texas, he's one of the Republican members who sent that letter to the FBI in the first place, Hear how he responded to Congresswoman Chu. This is what he said about the first Chinese American woman elected to Congress, who is the chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific That's American Congress. That's awesome. Yeah. That's I great. think that Judy Chu needs to be called out, and I think that if she was an intelligence committee member this week, that Kevin McCarthy would be taking her off the committee. Do you think Congresswoman Chu should be looked into? I think everyone that's standing up for Chinese Communist Party it should be looked into. Yes, I question her either loyalty or competence. Party. If she doesn't realize what's going on, then she's totally out of out of touch. Uh, Would you like to educate people on McCarthyism? Well, that's easy one, yeah. Uh, back in the times uh, that we were at uh, odds with, it, with Russia, okay, everything was communism, communism. If you're communist, you're blacklisted, literally. They had a list of communists, which is against the Constitution, but this is what was going on at the time. Uh, Joe McCarthy was a, uh, a congressman that uh, he would basically, he, it was witch hunt, okay? He would bring people before a, a, a panel uh, that he was the chair of, and he would, he would bully them into trying to admit that they're communists in this stuff. This is the same type of thing that they're trying to do it again. And this is why we made the stream, because this stuff has happened in history. Are we going to repeat the same stuff again and let people take us down a path that's really destructive? And it's going to end with a lot of blood. Can we not do that this time? Yeah, let's stop it this time. Let's prove to the aliens that they can come, because we won't stand for killing one another for the military. Yeah, industry. can we just stop doing this? Yeah. And and let people be free to be people. Mm -hmm. Can we not fight each other like barbarians anymore? You know, ha, 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 you, did the dark ages not teach us anything? Exactly. Let's stop. Like we're we're heading into that type of era if we 
continue down the course of let's just point our fingers at other people and then pointing fingers back at us. Yeah. Do we understand now that torture is barbarism? That, that, that as a culture in humanity, we shouldn't torture because it, it serves no purpose to humanity. Could we do that? Could we agree that large-scale conflicts between people on battlefields with guns and missiles doesn't make sense? Why are we doing it? What's the purpose? You know, I'm not a perfect person. I've engaged in violence before. Yeah. I have. I have. But I, I learned it's not a good idea because it, it, it ruins your life. Yeah. When you do stuff like that. So you're going to put that, my little incident, where I know it'll ruin my life, and you're going to put it on a massive global scale where nobody really wants to do it anyway. There you go. Just so you can feel like you have the bigger balls than the other fucking person. Who has the biggest balls of them all, exactly. It's a stupid pissing contest, and, and, and it has really no good reason to engage anymore in society you know if we all just came together and just used our think tank we could be doing awesome things we 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 have the technology now where we could all be self-sustaining and happy and, and and live free this whole being stuck in the money power dynamic type of fucking shit that we've been doing for like 200 300 fucking years it needs, it needs to end because it's a stupid game and and no one likes to play it anyway exactly and that's why the, the the like the socialist type movement is starting to gain traction people are starting to think of economics like capitalism has been a big reason why things have gone the way they did yeah greed took over and we stopped caring just and and let's just be honest your 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 hatred you show within politics and and within media has seeped into the culture oh, yeah. and now it's conflicting with everyone's interpersonal uh relationships yes wow that's very important what you just said so what you're doing right now is a poison to society and if you think you're doing good for society you're actually doing harm to society oh man that's it that's some preaching man hey are gavins and watermelons claws growing into their paws no i <laughs> no melly i no. no i i check my cat's claws all the time i'm i'm always playing with their paws while checking their claws to see if they need like a trim or anything or or if their nails are good they scratch yeah plus i have places where they scratch they so do. they scratch no I, do, I and i understand with Chantel, maybe she was ignorant on those facts but I can I can say whatever I want with regards of Chantel and don't tell me to don't defend Chantel. People are harassing her. I'm against that. Yeah. I'm against pushing your boundaries on her. If you do not like Chantel, leave her the fuck alone and stop giving her attention and feeding her monster. Yeah, amen. If you have a problem with Chantel, stop watching her, stop talking about her, stop giving her attention. Exactly. Because otherwise, Period. If, if you're still talking about her, why? Period. So don't bring that to my chat anymore. I will not allow it. I will not allow it. This is not about that. This is about the world right now. There's a lot more important things in the world right now than fucking Chantel. I don't give a fuck about some fat Canadian. You know, I don't give a fuck enough about her life when this is happening. And you should too. Yeah, I agree. Don't tell me what to do with my own fucking life. And channel. And channel. Thank you. Yeah. Like, come on, guys. Let's really talk, okay? Are you, you mean to tell me that it, it's, it means more to you 
And, and I don't mean offense by this at all. Okay? You're part of the problem in society. This is the, my problem with society right now, why we're talking about this. Yeah. Your priorities are wrapped up with some random person from Canada with cats, okay? While World War III is just, like, really, really right there, okay? Like, you're right there on the cusp. What, what did they move the, the, the doomsday clock to? Hmm. 15 seconds? The doomsday clock? It's at 15 minutes or something, right? They moved the doomsday clock, which has been the thing that the... It's like a media tool to tell us how close to the... We're bay. 90 seconds. 90 seconds? Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. We're... And this is a real barometer because it drives media, okay? They're telling you you're 90 seconds from the nuclear event right now, okay? We're at that posture, and you're worried about a woman in Canada with cats. You need to get your priorities straight if you want to have a country, okay? Pay attention, because it's really, this is insane. We don't want to be interning people in camps again, okay? just because of their ethnicity. This is xenophobic craziness. It's not something we want to repeat. No. So let's, you want to play it? Yeah. I think we should. With one of her core constituencies, I think she has drug along the other Chinese American members to sign this letter, uh, but I do think she's the ringleader. And I'm, I'm really disappointed and shocked that someone like Judy Chu would have a security clearance and be entitled to confidential intelligence briefings until this is okay. figured out. Okay, this shit has to stop. Where people make accusations and they just blanket them and they have no proof of nothing. If you're going to come on here about the first Chinese American congressperson and you have accusations of something, you better have a document on the fuck. Sorry, you better have a document on the screen immediately showing people the proof. Here's the proof that she's involved with the communist Chinese. Yeah, they just blurt it out of their mouth. It's McCarthyism. Well, they're a communist. They're a communist, folks, and we cannot sympathize with communists. It's got, it's like we went back then. It's like we're back in the 50s or 40s. So is Bernie Sanders. Are you going to kick him out of Congress and say he's part of Chinese spies? Yeah. That's why America is the great experiment. We allow... Holy shit. We allow these ideas. And if they happen to take the majority, then that's what the country becomes. Because mm -hmm. the government is supposed to reflect the people, okay? Co a constitutional republic is supposed to reflect the will of the people. If you have the majority of the people wanting socialism, then the, <laughs> I'm sorry, your country needs to go socialist, okay? Mm -hmm. Because the people want it, okay? It has nothing to do with the government at that point. It's the will of the people, unless we want to abandon that and say that we're going to be death incorporated capitalism for life mm -hmm. for life you know like the wolf pack Woo! true no that's gang stuff we want to take care of people man we should be taking care of people go ahead sorry play it you can play it that pissed me off though because he just said it she's probably guilty of this no you got to prove it that's slander. You can't just come on Fox News and say that this Chinese American. You're, you're just saying it because she's Chinese, man. Yep. It's eth. It's xenophobic. Yep. Okay. Bad. You can play if you want. Yep. You got it. Joining us now is California Congresswoman Judy Chu, the first Chinese-American woman ever elected to Congress, and of course, the chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. Congresswoman Chu, thank you for being with me tonight. I'm sorry that it has to be under these circumstances, but I'd first just like to get your reaction to um, the congresswoman who had a lot to say about you calling you a ringleader, questioning your loyalty and competence, suggesting your security clearance should be revoked. Um, <coughs> your thoughts? They're doing this to the first Chinese Disgusting. congresswoman. I'm a Republican. Yeah. I, I am a card-carrying Republican. This is disgusting. You guys are xenophobic. You're acting like Nazi Party Germans. Do you, could I repeat that? Mm -hmm. The GOP is acting like Nazi Germany, Nazi Germ, Nazi Germans. You're acting like Nazi Party Germans. Stop it now. Yeah. 
I'll put my I'll put my jaw on. Uh, see, you can you can see my mouth. You you, you know right? you know you know how you know how you did that abortion thing, GOP. Yeah. And it made you lose seats. Yeah. This is one of the things that'll make you lose your seats. Yes. Are they just just? I think so. Their whole party. I think so. And Trump was the beginning of it. The suicide. S word of the party. Yeah. Yes. I think you're right. It's so dumb. Yeah. Congressmember Gooden's comments questioning my loyalty to the U.S. is absolutely outrageous and disgusting. I'm sorry. It's based on false information spread by an extreme right wing website. But furthermore, it's racist. I very much doubt yes. that he be spreading Xenophobic. these lies where I'm not of Chinese American descent. In my opinion, it's McCarthyism at its worst. Yes. And it. Yes. Wow. Yes. I like her. I like her. I, I don't care her politics. I probably disagree with her politically. I don't care. I'll stand up for the person I don't agree with. Okay. I'm like the kid in school. Hey, teacher, I got a problem here. All right. This is this is definitely like Hitler stuff I'm seeing. It is McCarthyism at its worst. It is. It is. It's, it's, so, it's so transparent. Oh my God, it is. But it makes sense why Trump. All these. I never understood why Trump was all. I thought it was funny because I was into it. But the way he'd go, China, China. Now I get it. Exactly. He's got all the guys with the red hats hating Chinese people when mm -hmm. they make the best takeout food in history. Okay? And they do so much. They're brilliant people. Are you kidding me? The Chinese are so brilliant. They are. Okay? But for me, the food, because that's the way you get to me is food. It is. Send me like you did with your cranberry orange bread. Yeah. You get to my stomach, I'm like, I love you. Okay? And, and I love Chinese food. I just can't help it. I just, it's so good. There are beautiful people. Yes. There's nothing anyone should be afraid over with them. Honestly, some of the sweetest people I've known in my life are Chinese food restaurant owners. Okay, that's why I'm saying this. I've known them. Like, I got to know them personally and stuff because I was always going to the same place. Okay? They're just wonderful Christian people, really. So now are we going to have a war with the Chinese that are increasingly more and more Christian? Are we seeing the big picture of why this is happening? Because Christianity has exploded in China. So now we're going to go to war and kill a lot of Chinese Christians. Do you, what? Did I just show you something? I hope so. That's what they did with... Uh... The Middle East? No. What? In Japan. They were Christian villages they nuked. Absolutely. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Why would we choose that? Those towns. Yeah. Why exactly. Very Man, that's a real good one you just put there. Man, this is a good video. <laughs> this is like old school Rev News stuff. Baby. This stuff needs to end this brutality. This is Rev and Shanny for Christ yeah, together. Like doing yeah, it. exactly. Like this this brutality really needs to end. It really needs to end. Like, we are way too grown and advanced as a society to keep doing this. Amen. It's downright dangerous. Making ugly and false accus accusations like this puts a target on my back for something that is not true. Amen. And in fact, it just perpetuates the stereotype that Asian Americans are foreigners in their own land, no matter how many generations they've been in this country exactly like were born and raised in this country that's but right we have to look at where this is coming from congress member gooden appears to sympathize with violent insurrectionists and spreads big lies to the american people mm -hmm. having voted not to certify the election of president biden oh and there you go is one of those extreme mega republicans in the house that are focused on 
baseless conspiracy theories. Amen. Yeah. yeah the xenophobia and the nativism and uh, the race baiting is not even subtle in the commentary. No. Calling you a ringleader, suggesting you're dragging along other Chinese American members and you're not loyal or either loyal or competent at questioning your wow. ability. No, it's sheer racism. It's it's like, like they are... It, oh my God. No, I think I... What happened to the GOP? I think I feel strongly enough about this that I would call the office of whoever the senator was that made these accusations like this, I would call his office. I don't care if I'm a constituent, I would call the office. Mm -hmm. And at least leave a comment to tell him how much of a disgusting Nazi he is, whoever this congressman is. And he's a disgrace to the Republican Party. Okay, because say what you will about the Republican Party, okay? What it stood for is mainly family values, capitalism, okay? The right to practice your Christian values, your Christianity. These are the type of things that the GOP was founded on, okay? It's when we see a stinky Nazi, we should be like Aldo Rain in in uh in glorious bastards that's how americans are supposed to look at nazis where's my nazi scalp okay yeah we don't tolerate nazis in exactly. america okay what happened to that we went to a major war to stop nazis do do we have to have like a national day where we watch indiana jones to get the point or the history channel or the history channel yeah i agree <laughs> Yeah. Indiana Jones. I guess that's more palatable than, than Hitler documentaries all day. I guess it is. It is. Yeah, I guess so. I'd go for it's it. It's easier for the, the simple-minded people who really can't keep their attention. That's true. But, but the History Channel is wonderful for us to remind ourselves of history. And yes. we don't want to do that again. Yes. And I love the History Channel. Me too. This is bullshit. It's horrible pisses me off. It makes me feel horrible for this congresswoman. To serve in Congress. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to say about this, but for those who have not, did not hear your initial pushback on the contention that uh, the businessman in question, uh, Mr. Ng, is an agent of Chinese intelligence, oh, can you explain why you're confident that he is, should serve in the position that President Biden appointed him to? Dominic Ng is an icon in the AAPI community. Uh, he brought this bank uh, from a time when it was very small and when there was such a necessity to be able to have um, uh, loans uh, for the local Asian American community to a nationwide bank. And he's highly respected by many. He's very and, qualified to do what he's supposed to do. And he was helping his fellow Asian Americans, what what does this have to do with? Oh my God! I would want him to have connections with the Chinese government. So he may need to make deals. Why would you not want him talking to the Chinese government? It, this is ridiculous. We gotta stop this. It, and it's all it is. It's based on xenophobia. And and P, I don't even know if people understand what xenophobia is anymore. No. It's it's a form, it's a form of divide and conquer thinking. Okay, that your nation is sacred. It's almost divine, and other foreigners coming in is not a positive thing. Okay, when we live in a country that has a statue in the biggest city on in well, it's New York, man. It's the city. That statue says, "Give us everybody that's in need." That's what that statue says, okay? It doesn't matter if you're an Asian, a German, an Australian, a Brit, whatever you are, if you need, if you're in need, come here because this is going to be the land of plenty for you. That's what the statue says, the Statue of Liberty, okay? That's what I'm referring to, which I have visited multiple times in my life. An amazing sight, okay? But our country is founded on immigrants. Our country's blood 
is all blood. It, because people came here to try to start a life of all, doesn't matter what you were, okay? Are we going to keep that or are we going to go to what the Republicans are going to? I can't believe I'm saying this. I sound like a liberal, but I'm just telling the truth of what I see. Yep. Okay? I'm a Republican, and I'm telling you that this shit that they're trying to make you put in your head as a Republican, reject it. Amen. That's it. And Amen. I, and I am a card-carrying Republican registered. Yeah, you got to reject this racism stuff that they're trying to it's push evil. on the people. It's, yes. it's evil. It's going to just put, it's going to ruin who you are as a person. Completely spirit. You know, I remember I, I remember I started getting a little bit more racist when I started like liking Trump. Yeah, like that I know stuff. what you like, mean. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the memes you're fed. Yeah, it's the memes you're fed. It's the media you're consuming. Mm -hmm. Like they really do throw they racist. They manipulate. Yeah, your systematic mind. racism is a real thing. You really need to educate yourself on that stuff. Yeah, but why it was uh, happening it is because of these meme masters that they throw these images up and it's racist. It yeah, is. And exactly. Then, and you're consuming it and you're like, huh, huh. That's racist. But you just go, you just scroll past it. Yeah, but it does something to your psyche, your mind. It yeah. changes you. You would ex you're accepting more because you're part of that. Yeah, team. you're the team. And I I completely reject that mentality now. Yeah, I me understand too. it, and yeah. and I, I I'm sorry for anything about that stuff. Yeah, like, me too. Yeah. Uh, it's really important to me now to to realize that this this was done to, to to me and and jason and the whole culture yeah through a system that's just based on divide and conquer yeah and it's it really shouldn't be taken really like seriously in culture per se because it's just a game they play to just separate people from each other yeah and it's in the bible that it says even the elect could be deceived by the beast yeah exactly and, and i do believe we're at the time of the end so this is like a test to your spirit. I, 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 if, if, if Trump was the test, I flunked it because I, I was like, yeah, let's try him. I was very passionate about him because a man I respected uh, believed in him too, supposedly. Okay, I don't know if all that was fake. It's just to make money. I have no idea. But I believed in it, so I put my spirit to it. Was I deceived? It looks that way. And I'm willing yeah. to admit that. Yeah. I thought he was a repentant, godly man that wanted to take the presidency and make America great. That's what I believed. I did believe that. And I prayed for him so hard to win that night. And then they turned it to Trump. And I was like, oh, my God, this is holy. But see, that it made me. That's feel how like, Hitler got his people. I know it. He said this is a Christian movement. Yep. He said that in 1928. Yep. Hitler called his movement that he had in Germany. Before World War II, we were talking 1928, guys. That's why there should be a clear distinction between religion and politics. There has to be, yeah. It has to be secular because that's what happens. Yes. This is why the Roman Catholic Church, I mean, it is it is a government. Yeah. Too, and that's really sensitive. Okay? We won't go there because I love Catholics. I don't care. Yeah. I love Catholic people. I love Mormons too. It's like I don't. None of these wars that truthers like to put on, on everybody. They like to just they take shots at everybody. Yeah, the, tr the truthers. You know what I mean? It's gossip, right? But Mormons are nice people. Catholics are nice people. Yeah. The heads of the churches. Who knows? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The leadership no. is like whatever. They're no. just, they're outside the public even. They're kings and shit. Like, that's, that's the principality. Yeah, let's stop making things harder for the nice people, okay? Mm-hmm. By inserting your religion and your politics and all your stupid, like, the things and isms shit, yeah. to try to sway people. And look, I'm... It's a, manipulative. Well, it's just the, the truth, the truther conspiracy movement. I, I, I will always feel like that's my soul because that's what really, I, that's the first time I felt really passionate about something is that conspiracy movement because I felt like, man, they're
they're documenting everything. Yeah, but it's gotten infiltrated, and there's yeah. no truth in it anymore. I don't. I wouldn't say there's no truth in it, but there's something weird that happened, and it seems yeah. like it happened at the same time as Trump. Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying. You're right. Shit fell apart when he came on and like, yeah, I'm your guy. Yeah, that's true. He disarmed it. Mm-hmm. He disarmed it. Yeah, that's that's why I shut off the chat. Okay. Because people were just cleaning shit. Oh, they were? They, I didn't even know. Yeah, this. they were in the chat. We're doing content. Well, this is... And I decided to turn off the chat to just take that violence out in one sweep, you know? You know how to I'm, do it. I'm not going to enable that. I get better every single day. Yeah, we're not going to throw around, like, crap at each other. Everyone's done shit. Yeah. we got to learn how to forgive. You're right. Exactly. we got to learn how to forgive and move on mm -hmm. from past discrepancies. Like Nazism, which has been, okay, we know that that is not a positive thing for the planet. No. So let's abandon that right now. We should have done that back in 1945, okay? Exactly. You had a test in your humanity if you lived at that time. You had to 1945 to make your mind up that Nazism is not good. We we did. We should have done that by then. Okay. Mm hmm So let's not do the Nazism in 2023. Why? Okay. No. We should fit. Do you want to finish the clip? Yeah, absolutely. Let's, we talked a lot over this. Man, we did a great. This is great. I love this. this is Certainly great. in the AAPI uh. community, but also in the entire community. Of course he was vetted um, extensively for this APEC position. And we need him right now, actually, because we want to create closer ties with the other Asian countries um, so that uh, we can make sure that uh, uh, we have allies in Asia, as indeed our competitiveness with China becomes more tense. So um, he, he is somebody that uh, definitely should serve in this position. Uh, and it is just uh, horrendous that they would try to ruin his reputation with baseless lies. Yeah, and, and I think it's, it's important to hear what you're saying because the, the rights vilification of this individual, the rights targeting of you as a defender of this individual has been unabashed and unfounded. And it's coming at a moment where Asian Americans increasingly find themselves targets of hate nationwide. I mean, wow. if you look at the number in the state of California, which, which you represent in Congress, Look at the numbers of reports of anti-Asian hate. Oh, my God. Look at it. Wow. Wait, hey, hey. Uh, 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 oh, my God. Can I talk to Donald right now? Yeah. Donald, are you happy with this? Because you did this. Jaina, Jaina, Chinese. Okay? You did that. You This number you see here. And this is no judgment on Trumpers, okay? I'm, it's I, just went up since 2016. Look at that graph. Look at the graph. Here, I'll turn off the... Uh, yes, he sees. There we go. Look at the graph. Okay? It went up as soon as you became president. Are you happy about that, Donald? That is sad. That is horrifying no it's disgusting and it's all because well the chinese made me pay my taxes yeah they did you should be paying taxes in the u.s too don with all the money you're making supposedly disgusting all, all because of money you've done this to the world and had attacks on a anti-asian uh, uh hate crimes is, is this something you... And you turned me into a racist. I hate you. I hate what you did to the culture. Manipulated minds. But this is clear. Like, I'm sorry if you're a Trumper. I'm sorry, but you got to accept. Because I have to accept. I was a part of the movement. Yeah. I didn't see this type of stuff. Because my circles weren't... The R word. It, it's, it started in Christianity. That's the thing. It's, yeah. It started in the truther, in the truther movement. Yeah. This Nazism that we didn't even realize until 
we went way too far. Yeah, because I was doing that video on the Pepe stuff, remember? Yeah. Th that's when I realized it. Like, oh my, I was like involved with Nazis. I didn't know this. I, yep. My movement it has a lot of Nazis in it. What the hell is happening? And I really started going away from Trump at that point. I changed, yep. remember I cut the shirts up yep. on camera? And I said, this is an idol to me. And I cut it. Yep. Broke the bond. And then I went back to him because he seemed like he was, he was doing good stuff in the country, man. Yeah, exactly. Like infrastructure projects and the trains were moving and all this good stuff. You know, it would look great. But he flips the Bible upside down. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it's all a show, man. It really is. He's a mason. He's always a brother. He's a brother. It's gross. So he's going to do stuff for the show. It's gross. It's the show, folks. You know? Crimes from 2012 to 2021. I mean, the number, that's 247 incidents in 2021. Oh, my I mean, God, what, that's what, horrifying. What do we need to be doing differently as a society? And, and what do we need to tell the purveyors of this hate? Some of whom sit in the U.S. Congress. No. Well, we have to tell them to stop these baseless conspiracy theories and they have to stop perpetuating the uh, foreigner in their own land stereotype uh, and they have to stop uh, having stereotypes such as when Trump called the pandemic the China virus and yeah, the flu. Yeah, I agree. Because by making it seem like China was responsible for the world's shutdown, yeah. he put a target on the backs of all Asian Americans did. in this country. Yeah, and the violence started getting, the crimes we saw started going up among Asian. And they've proven in the graph. They did. Statistics. He, I mean, you could really charge him with a war crime, sort of. Yeah. You really could. Oh, the the list of crimes oh on Trump is just going up <laughs> it, on him. It really, really is. Let's just be honest. It's very true. But this, the way, the way he talked about China all the time, you could, if you frame that correctly in the way that it happened, yeah, he could be found guilty of war crimes against Chinese Americans. Yeah, I really believe that. I think he should be charged with hate crimes of what he did to American minds and turned them to racism. American what? The American mind. The my American mind. Yeah, yeah. It was a psyop. Yeah, it was a psyop. Trump was a psyop. Yep. Man, the, I think I feel the Lord, man. You feel the Lord? Yes, I do. I feel him very much. <laughs> I do. Oh my God, this is like the spark. We should have been doing this stuff since we've been together. Correct. Revelation new stuff. Oh <laughs> my God, I love you. I love you. you um, and uh, in fact. Uh, there were those because of that uh, who wanted to kill uh, APIs because of their anger about COVID. And so um, this accusation of Chinese Americans being disloyal to this country uh, only exacerbates the ugly feelings that there are out about APIs. Uh, after all this anti-Asian hate, Asian. which did result in 11,500 anti-Asian hate crimes over these last three years. Um, and so we must stop that. And I, I hope that uh, every decent American will call out these Republican oh, con conspiracy, Niagara Republican. Oh, I'm calling them out right now, honey. It's okay. Can we wait and focus on this instead of something else? Thank you. And um, out on this and uh, tell them that they have to stop this for the sake of this country. Well, we know that you are playing your part in calling them out, and I think uh, a nation is grateful for that. California Congresswoman Judy Chu, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. The question is, are we going to let this happen again, like in World War II, where we did this to the Japanese and interned them because we were at war? Are we going to do that again? I say no. So stand up and say no. I said no. Yeah. I say no, too. <laughs> I say no to. Amen. I think we did the Lord a service right here. Yeah. Don't be like this. Don't don't go down this 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 path. No. Please. Please don't go back. 
down this path. It's it's just yeah. Like we can do a lot better than this. No. We can do a lot better than this. Like do that, you know. Do that. Yeah. Love, you know. Exactly. No hate, but you know the gun. No hate. Yeah. Love. Love. You know. Don't hate. Well, yeah. That's you it. love the chat. I will open up the chat. Do you want me to open up the chat? Alright. <laughs> you know, but you know, I, I just I'm not going to tolerate hate. Okay. For in any any way, shape, or form. About anyone. Period. I'm not going to tolerate the hate anymore. It needs to end. And if I have to be the grown-up and, and you know, <sighs> what, what can I say? Put the chat back just so people can participate. You know, instead of being so nasty, we can get along. Like, there are things we need to discuss in this world that is important. And, and this is one of them, of learning how to get along with each other and stop pointing fingers at each other and causing such emotional violence onto people. And I believe you all can can do good and better than this. I think every, anyone, everyone can do better than this. Well, I mean, the issue is this is stuff that's so much bigger. It is. And it's, it's <laughs> affecting everyone, though. Everyone's in this, like, yeah. like, thing where they're just like this with everyone. Yeah. And I've gone to therapy to not do this. Yeah. And I'm seeing people do this, and it's like, oh, you guys need therapy, so you yeah. stop doing that. You're right. So why don't, you know, someone, like, maybe counsel you guys to not be like that? Yeah. To teach you that it's an inappropriate behavior to society. It's not going to do anyone anything good. Very barbaric thinking. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. You preaching peace, girl? Yeah, she's going, yeah, amen. Amen. You're preaching peace? Yeah, you're what, Helen? Oh, yeah, you're pretty. She is. Oh. But we need to stop arguing with each other and learn how to, like, have some interest in, you know, interpersonal conflict skills. Yeah. Because I, 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 I can't do the arguing, the point in your finger like you're a child. You did this a long time ago. You said this. And then trying to get other people to hate other people in this joined hate mob fucking weird thing. That needs to end. Yeah, and the, the... Because that ain't helping anyone. You're stressing people out and emotionally blackmailing them and manipulating people to cause harm to others. That's not good for society. How is that good for society? To alienate people and shame them. Like, that's not good for society. No. And the bottom line comes down to don't buy the hate. Yeah. Don't buy the hate. Yeah, if someone's trying to throw hatred at your way, that's when you're like, huh, maybe I shouldn't be listening to this person. Maybe they're being a little dishonest. Exactly. Because if someone's spilling hate on someone, m most likely they're being a little bit dishonest. Definitely. You know? That's really a good message. If the message is grounded in love, then you should listen to it. Yeah. Like always. Because it's open. Yeah. You know, it's open-minded. Hatred is closed-minded. Yep. Love is open-minded. <laughs> Hatred is closed-minded. That's a scary, that's a bit scary. You know, 
Think of it that way. Yeah. You know, when you're hating on someone, you're being very close minded. True. <laughs> it's not a good, po it's not good and in intellectual to be close minded. Never. Toward anything. Toward anything. Yeah. It's biased mentality instead of being unbiased. Mm -hmm. You know, not good for your psyche. Never. Exactly. It's toxic, yeah. Exactly. It causes, actually, mental issues. It does. So, Cause, like... Because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Exactly. But the Bible tells you the truth, you know? Exactly. So, it's like, turn from those ways yeah. that are toxic to society. Yeah. Because you're not doing good for you. You're not doing good for your neighbor. You're definitely not doing good for your children. Right. By turning to toxic behaviors and, 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 and participating in, in this, like, hate culture that is, like, growing and people are becoming more violent. There's multiple mass shootings now every day. That's not normal. She knows. That's not normal. So, yeah, we as a society really need to just take a break and think what is best for, for society and then do it. Yeah. So, let's learn from our history and not go down the path of violence and discrimination and, you know, isolating people and, and all of that and, and just being completely indignant toward your fellow man. Let's do better than that. We can. And it all starts within you. And then you inspire others to do the same as you and it can grow of movement of peace and love and and tranquility right yeah peace and maranatha people i love you thank you for participating and listening to me learn how to love and and be peaceful to all your fellow man even if you have to shut off the live chat for a little bit just so people can know not to be cross with their neighbor. Bye, guys. Bye.